In this video I'm going to show how to fix a common error in Windows 7. That error is the user profile service failed to log on, user profile cannot be loaded. This error will commonly appear if Windows was shut down abruptly, such as in a power outage, or sometimes if Windows updates just didn't install correctly. And if you click on the OK button, it keeps taking you back to the Control Delete screen. Luckily this problem is really easy to fix and I'm going to show how to do those steps now. So on your keyboard, just hit Control Delete. And since this error is probably keeping you from accessing the account that you would like to use at the moment, you'll have to use a different account to sign in and fix this error. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with a different account here. And now that I'm signed into the other account here, I just want to click on the start button and then in the little search dialog here, type in run and hit enter. In the run prompt, just type in reg edit and then click on OK. This brings up the registry editor. The key that we need to browse to is under H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, and profile list. And as you can see, this profile list key contains several other keys. Each one of these keys represents a Windows profile, and the one that stands out is the one with the .bak at the end of it, and that is actually the profile that's having the problem that we're trying to fix. So if I click on this key that doesn't have the .bak, you can see it references a temp directory, and the one with the bak references the account that I'm trying to sign into. So to fix this, all we have to do is click on the registry key that has .bak, right-click, and say rename, delete the k, and then hit enter and then click on the registry key that does not have the .bak and right click and say rename and type .bak and hit enter. And now go back to the first key and right click and say rename and then just delete the .ba and then hit enter. And the reason we had to do that is because the Windows registry will not allow you to have two values with the exact same name. So we kind of had to play musical chairs with the names to get them switched around. Now that you've done that, go ahead and click on the X in the registry editor, and then it's safe to go ahead and restart your computer. And now that Windows is finished rebooting, I'm going to hit Control Delete on the keyboard. And since I want to sign into the other account, I'm going to click on Other User, and type in my username here. And there we go. And just disregard the Windows activation, that's just because I'm using a evaluation copy here. So after making those few small changes in the Windows registry, I'm able to successfully log into my profile. I'll also put a link in the description to the article on Microsoft's site that helped me make this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for viewing.